Let's see what he's got for us here this morning. If he can find a couple of diamonds in the rough, I can't wait to see this unfold. One of the finals, I think, we'll never forget was the format. You know, 6-6 sounded fine this morning. That wavy yeah. road looked incredible. You think that would have been nice, but a 6-3 made the difference. But that north swell being kind of steep, he felt he wouldn't need as much length for the matchup. Sliding in with the GOAT. Kelly Slater gets the exit on his first strike against Cardoso. The man the lead. Let's see what happened here, Potts. Yeah, nice, perfect position there from Kelly. You can see how compressed he got. Really flat on his board, that back leg. Are we surprised? Just another day at the office for Kelly. Locking in, William Cardoso. Looks like he's trying to muscle that section. Looked like he had to change his rail a few times. A bit of turbulence there from the rail from William Cardoso. Wiped out. Let's have a look here. Uh, this angle, you won't be able to see him, but he's still going all the way right up until that little closeout section there. He was looking for that exit right here as he takes off straight into the barrel, pumping through that section. You can see him still going, still going. And there's the exit, that little bottom section. He's trying to get himself out of it, and it just shuts down uh, often. And then on the other side of the peak, Kelly Slater driving through this barrel. And right there, that last little section took him down, unfortunately. 5.83, his best score. That was going to be another little keeper for him. It's one of the very few that could actually match the power, match the aggression of the wave. Same thing at Chopu. I mean, he was very similar there. Cardosa up and riding. Now looking at a big section for William. And this one just fading off down towards off the wall get in deep you need to backdoor that peak and uh, stay nice and tight like Kelly Slater did a couple of ways before here he goes again Kelly now setting this one up at back door big bottom turn huge section that cavern staying wide open the spit goes out in front of him and Kelly is nowhere to be found he stood straight up in that thing with room to move he's I think it's his last one where he just checked and just almost comes out and usually he's coming out of that Ross hey, nine out of ten times yeah I mean it's uh, there's quite a bit of north in the swell right now so it's not really a framey it's kind of running towards off the wall I didn't, I didn't get a chance did you guys know how he cut his hand no idea. I no. thought it was a surfing injury okay it could be um, I saw he sent me a picture of it, it looked kind of gross it was <laughs> pretty solid little cut oh. but uh, you know you guys were picking up on how Aki or uh, Kelly is so dominant out here he rides back door um, better than anyone uh, you, believe it or not, even though he's in the lead, he'd be irritated right now. We'll keep him very busy here. Five minutes remaining for Slater as he looks to get rid of one of his low-scoring rides. 2.17 is what he's trying to better. And you have to keep an eye right on, on him right until the end of these wave. Similar pits. William Cardoso, he's trying to get into this one. Oh. Loses his back foot, gets stuck in an awkward position. That looked tough right there. He almost done the splits. <laughs> and Lucky's all right, I mean it. Well, this one is coming to a close. The 11-time world champion looking sharp, but has much more to give.